Hello and welcome to this video and welcome to the final Pixie Box unboxing. This is actually the last Pixie Box that Sophie and Toffee is going to be pulled out because they cancelled the Pixie Box officially. So let's have a look and see what we get in our last box. First of all, it looks like we get some temporary tattoos and I think they might glow in the dark. It's really hard to show on camera, but they look like they do and we get like some like white and glow in the dark designs and some colored. They look actually very adorable. And then our first two molds are these rectangular constellation molds. So we have about all the same constellations, just in rectangle and in circle shape, but they look quite adorable. Next up we have this huge mold. It looks like it is probably a storage box mold and it looks like a shape of a rocket. And it also has constellations on there and some other star shapes as decor on the outside. And then we get a huge amount of glitter on our hands where I grabbed this little astronaut holding, I guess it's supposed to be a moon or something. This guy looks quite cute. Definitely adorable, but uh, yeah, not, not my type of mold that I would use, but definitely a cute mold. And then we get this giant, I guess, earring or charm mold that has like all of these different moon and sun designs. You get like more of a like, shooting star design and most of these kind of really look like they would be earrings since they come in pairs and I think the designs are quite lovely. You get these huge, I guess, glitter embed flakes in the shape of aliens in a very alienish green and we get some tiny metal charms. I always love these kind of metal charms. I loved them before when they added them in the Chinese New Year box and I really love these ones too. These have all the constellations but they also have some cutouts for stars and moons. So these are super cute, definitely uh, worth adding to certain projects. Next up we have some nail glitter with some moons and stars and we get a transfer foil with some beautiful, beautiful galaxy design. I really need to use them more in the future. Then we get the culprit of the glitter mess, these two glitter containers. They seem to be closed really well, but for some reason there's glitter all over them. And it looks like we get the turquoise and the pink and they both look like a little bit bluish on camera. And then we get some different uh, pigment powders. I guess they're just normal micro pigments and like purple, magenta and like a series-ish pink. And then we get some little star embeds. These are just the normal cane embeds, nothing really special, but the colors are quite cute. Next up we get some, I guess they're kind of cabotons. There's five uh, pieces with like round with like, I guess they're supposed to be Saturn rings, but they have different like stone colors and they're absolutely beautiful. And we get a scrap of cardboard and we get four lamps. I don't know which color these are. I'm not gonna open the package right now. I have more than enough uh, in my storage already. I'm definitely gonna uh, use them at some point, but yeah. Interesting enough, the little information card wasn't folded in the middle and it also was on the bottom of the box but that's okay at least we get one. So this box is called a space for you in the space theme and we are apparently just supposed to get two LED lights but we got four which I'm pretty happy about because that means we have more options to uh, put them in molds. And it looks like actually the astronaut may have like a, spa a spare like indent for them. And apparently there was a quite a variety of stickers that we could have gotten, or I guess uh, temporary tattoos. And apparently the glitters uh, that we got are glow in the dark. So I really wanted to use them. So for my first pour I actually mixed the turquoise in with the black and it turned this like reddish goldish kind of color copper red gold so yeah nothing really left of the turquoise i wonder if it would come out more if i would have used the white base but it completely changed color 
It still looks really pretty, but uh, I'm kind of sad that we lost the turquoise color. And I'm going to make like most of the constellation molds, and I decided to also make these like beautiful moon face earring molds. And for these molds, I tend to always overfill a bit and then just use my like little reusable knife to like basically scrape off the top so it's level. I find that the grooves on the knife actually help quite a bit so you don't scrap off too much uh, so it doesn't like cave in too much and all things considered these look quite pretty. I think the glitter definitely uh, matches these quite well and I love the sheen it uh, leaves in it. So I guess the color change of the glitter wasn't too bad after all. I actually want to try and make this again, but with like a galaxy-esque effect. These are just like very basic with glitter, but I decided I want to like mix three different colors. So I wanted to try the pink and this one also turns like very goldish. You lose the pink if you add the black, but it is a bit uh, different colored from the turquoise glitter in like the black, the, the color change is a bit different. So what I did is I mixed the turquoise, a like pinkish tone and the black and I'm just sprinkling the pink and the turquoise on basically kind of randomly trying to keep the turquoise in the center and then surrounding it with the pink. And then I'm adding some black on top. Now if you wouldn't overfill these, I guess the colors wouldn't move as much, but I needed to swipe quite a bit off because I overfilled them, so the black got mixed in a little bit. bit. But I think the effect in the end uh, still turned out pretty well. It is just really hard to like keep the filling exact, especially if you use like huge cups. If you mix like small cups that have a pouring spout, it's easier to not overfill, but in this case it didn't really matter. Because, as you can see, the effect was quite pretty. And sadly, my mold ripped while demolding. Um, it like fused in some spots, but luckily it wasn't where any of the like mold bits were. Just on the like gaps in between, so I can still use it, but... I guess there must have been some imperfection or something in the mold from like molding it. Uh, this can totally happen. Silicon is uh, very fragile in the case, and if resin fuses to it, it just rips. Uh, luckily, as I said, it wasn't in a mold, but definitely still sad that it happened. I wanted to fill in all the constellations with a gold tone, and sadly, I couldn't find my bezel tape, so I just used some very strong other tape that I have laying around. This tape usually works actually pretty fine. It uh, doesn't really leave any marks if the resin cures properly and all that, so I wasn't really worried about using this tape. And since I'm not using UV resin, I didn't need to cure them. So I spent like about an hour filling in all of these gaps with a tiny pipette, making sure to wipe off the excess and all that. It is not really leaving much but it left a little bit of the like resin with the gold in the gaps. And then I just turned them around and filled on the backings. You can see that some of the gold definitely overflowed a little bit, but that is because the resins uh, sunk a little bit when I put the first layer, and that meant there was just nothing really for the tape to grab. I could have remedied that in just sanding it flush, but I didn't feel like it. I knew I uh, would probably like to have them a bit thicker as like charms, so I would dome them on the back anyways. Uh, doming went pretty well in most cases, but some of them, the resin like to flow off. I guess they were a bit uneven when I let them cure, so the resin, even though I used the thin layer, flew off uh, one edge. So a couple of them got ruined because the resin flew on the sides and on the bottom, but it luckily wasn't too many of them. So I'm not mad about that. That can just easily happen with uh, these kind of doming things. And of course some of the like holes for the charms got uh, clogged up with some resin, but nothing a simple drilling with a hand drill cannot fix. And here are all the charms I made. I think they look super pretty. Sadly the gold, even though I used a lot of micropigment, didn't turn out as golden as I hoped. But I guess that just uh, like basis of this mica pigment it just really doesn't like to. But overall these charms look quite pretty, they're quite shiny. As you can see there's one or two where the black kind of ran underneath, like this one. 
It doesn't look bad, but you can definitely not see the nice shininess. As for the ones with the like galaxy effect, the glitter doesn't quite match this, but that is okay because I think the effect still turned out super super nice. It looks quite different like color change wise in the like purple and turquoise in comparison to the black. Definitely um, the like reddish tone comes up way more in the black. It's kind of the same with the earrings where I'm sad about the gold on the inside, but they turned out really lovely else too. I think I might, since it actually sunk a bit, be able to just use some UV resin or some acrylic paint and dome them off and fill up the rest with some resin or something. I'm definitely uh, gonna make them into like charms or earrings. I haven't really decided which style of charm I want to go with yet. And I kind of was uh, close with the deadline of releasing this video, so I didn't actually turn them into charms yet. I might at some point maybe make a video about like making different charms or something like that out of like a lot of different uh, resin projects that I made. I think that could be a nice little idea to make some like cute little keychains and other charms. But anyways. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this box and uh, I really want to know um, what you thought of the pixie box in general. I quite enjoyed the journey. Of course it, it was a given that you didn't know which kind of molds you would get in the box and that you only knew that you would get a specific theme, but that was kind of exciting. Yes there was a hit or miss in these kinds of molds, but I really enjoyed most of the themes and most of the molds that I got, with only uh, some of them not really picking my interest, but I discovered some new molds I wouldn't probably have bought otherwise that I actually uh, quite enjoy using and, you know, reuse a lot, like some of the container molds and all that. Definitely I'm using these quite a lot more than I would have thought when I would have seen them in the shop. Overall, I think this box was quite lovely um, put together. I totally forgot to test out the like glow in the dark abilities of the glitter dough. Um, but we had a lovely uh, choice of things. We have the nice transfer foils, we have the glitter, we have the embeds. It wasn't like too like astronaut heavy. I mean, we had the rocket ship and the astronaut, but we also had the constellation modes, which were quite a lot, so you can really like make something that you like if you're not too much into rockets or you know people in spacesuits which like I don't really care for both of these molds and I actually think the rocket mode will take quite a bit of resin since the lid isn't like hollow in a bit um, so I'm probably going to try and sell them or something I'm not gonna use them for myself maybe I'm gonna keep the astronaut because that is quite cute but definitely the space container mold for the spaceship is um, probably not never gonna be used to me but the glitters and all that are definitely very very lovely I didn't expect them to change colors but honestly it really doesn't look bad I quite like the effect definitely not what I was planning on going for but that's just the nature of crafting and still having a really pretty result in the end is I think uh, the best thing that can happen in these kind of cases. But like always, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I see you next time. Have a great day. Bye bye.